Hi everyone, so let's discuss five tips for getting started. Of course you want to grow, you want to constantly grow, you want to make an impact, you want to do you and fill the space that you were created to fill in this world. Number one, start small or take baby steps. Things don't get accomplished if it is that you overwhelm yourselves with big thoughts, oh I want to own a big hotel. Start small, maybe buy a two bedroom house and rent it out as an Airbnb. See how it is that you can acquire an existing apartment complex or buy a piece of land and then build it up from scratch. But you know, things try to start small, try to take baby steps, don't be afraid of taking baby steps. It really helps and it really flows into number two which is to ensure that you have a plan so if you want to get started if there's something if you have an idea you want to start a business to have a plan if you don't have a plan then you won't be as motivated as you would like to be so it's very important that you plan for things i find that if it, when you don't have a plan or for example if i want to do something if i want to start a new initiative if i want to start a new business if I don't, at least write it down in a book, figure out what it is that I want to do, how I'm going to go about it, just kind of have a clear roadmap in a sense, not for the detail, trust me, literally a piece of paper, write it down and just have a plan or an idea of a plan. And then it, having a plan flows right into number three, just get started. Literally, just get started. Just start whatever it is that you want to do. The mere fact that you're watching this video, that you have something that you, you need a little extra push, my advice is to bear in, stop visualizing all of these obstacles. Like, if you feel as if you won't get the something, you know, just start. Whatever it is, just start. And all start small, no matter how small it is. If you want to sell, hundreds to the market first and see if it's something that people would gravitate towards if it's an initiative if you want to give gather friends together or start doing it on your own and trust me once you start doing something on your own then everybody will start messaging you and asking you hey how can i get involved with this and it ties right into point number four which is get a team together so once you've started the quote that says no man is an island no man stands alone that stands true because anything at all that you're doing whether it's a business whether you're writing a book starting an initiative a foundation anything at all you need people you need people around you you need people to motivate you you need help with executing various arms of that company and so you know it's so important that you give people the opportunity to be a part of your dream. And it's, it, it, trust me, you'll feel different when it is that you have people around you and they're taking your dream as their own. You know, seeing your objectives come true makes them smile. They benefit from it in terms of they gain some experience, they're learning, they're being exposed to things that are new and you're basically adding value to somebody else's life and I think that in itself is a win. So get a team together. It ain't have to be nothing big, it have to be the most qualified people. It can be people in your community, it can be friends, you can literally put out a call on various websites. Facebook pages, Instagram and say, hey we need volunteers, we need interns. They Fifth point, fifth point, number five. All right, so this point is to stay motivated, right? It's so important that you stay motivated, it is. It's really, 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 really is, and it's the hardest thing to do because you'll have people who are supporting you, and trust me, when you're going up a ladder, you're gonna have people on the side of you supporting, and people over there, so just wait for you to fall down. 
it's not a problem. We all need them. They're both important. None don't hate none of them. Like love them the same way. Because the haters will always push you to do better, hit you with some challenges, and it makes you a better person each time you overcome those challenges. Right? So stay motivated. Extrinsic motivation, intrinsic motivation, you need both of them, right? Extrinsic motivation has to do with the motivation that you get from around. So whether it is that you're motivated by people around you, whether it is that you're motivated by specific incentive, because it sometimes wants to come from your family, your friends, which is fine, and you will need that. Feel free to take a moment if you need to meditate, connect with your inner self, that is fine. Intrinsic motivation is one of the most powerful tools. It's motivation from within. It's not dependent on mommy, daddy, your friends. It's not dependent on anybody. It's you, the goals that you have for you. And once you achieve those goals, you are fine, you are dandy, you're great. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please share if it was something you were touched, if you were motivated. I encourage you to share, like. Uh, I hope to do something big, of course, and of course look out for content as it regards to professionalism, how it is that you can grow as an employee, personal and professional growth, how it is that you can start your own business, all of those things. We are going to be touching on very important topics. You can check out my previous videos as well. 